Hey what's up YouTube this is Seven Tinker Shanks here and I'm back with another Pokemon Battle Strategy video. Now as you see before me I have devised one for Smeargle. So we all know Smeargle is a great Pokemon in its own right because it can learn every single move except for like Chatter and Sketch. But anyway, or Sketching Sketch, you know what I mean. But so I think Smeargle has a lot of potential and though a lot of people use it for Stealth Rock, Sticky Web and stuff like that. As you can see I have Stealth Rock on this one. But I think Smeargle has so much more potential, and I want to show you guys why. Um, so I'll go with the Jolly Nature, because that's all it's got is some HP and speed. And even its speed is not that great, and its HP is not that great either. But at least it can take maybe a not very effective hit, at least. <laughs> so run the Focus Sash on this. I forgot to give it the item, but run the Focus Sash on it. And so... My move set for this one, I actually have two to show you guys, but this is my male one, Rembrandt. And so I've got Stealth Rock, Healing Wish, and then the bread and butter of this move set, Mirror Coat and Counter. Now, Stealth Rock is good for if like your opponent has like Mega Charizard X and Y, um, Talonflame, Volcarona, um, even stuff like Moltres, Articuno, and stuff like that. Pokemon that are four times weak to it are going to get hurt bad, and Pokemon that are hurt by rock type moves are going to take a good chunk as well. So it's great for wheeling down certain Pokemon. Um, I only use it just in case if like you really don't need Smeargle and all you just want to do is set up some Stealth Rocks and that can help out a lot. So then maybe Smeargle served its purpose and then you can get off a Healing Wish um, before you know before you die. So Healing Wish, Healing Wish is actually when I first saw this I was like oh my goodness Healing Wish is awesome. But it does take a lot of um, prediction and such. It takes a good um, prediction on your part. My main thing is basically if like you have a ghost type or something that's burned or poisoned or paralyzed or something that you want to keep going maybe something like a Dusclops or a Sableye or something like that or Mega Bayonet or something like that. Um, Frostlass so on and so forth. You can switch out to Smeargle if they're going to take a ghost type move just use Healing Wish and heal your um, buddy and so you get a free heal completely but you lose Smeargle. So, I mean, really, it's kind of a two-edged sword. I mean, you heal a Pokemon back, but you knock Pokemon out. But the main thing I like about this Smeargle set is Mirror Coat and Counter. Now, if you have used Smeargle all, you know this thing cannot take any hits. I mean, anything. Like, even just neutral hits usually will just Oko it, like, pretty much. That's why everybody runs the Focus Sash on it, because it is so frail. And usually, like I said, usually people just use them for setting up, but... I like this idea because I feel like it's unexpected because if someone sees a Smeargle, they're obviously going to think, oh, this thing's just going to set up, so I'm going to use Taunt. And you could psych him out thinking, okay, if, there, if it's an obvious Taunt user like maybe Sableye or Mandibuzz or something, um, I guess you could go ahead and use Stealth Rock, or some, Stealth Rock and just fake out that you only have s status moves and then they hit you with an attack move. I mean, a knockoff from a Mandibuzz would probably do a good chunk. And then you just go and use Counter or Mirror Coat and... KO their Pokemon. Now, of course, there are some um, things like a uh, Ghost Type's not going to get hit by Counter. Um, Dark Types aren't going to get my Mirror Coat. But I feel like a lot of Pokemon could get countered in a heartbeat by this. Um, I already used my Eviolite Counter Chansey. I'm going to see how Counter Smeargle works. So, I mean, I can just imagine like someone breaks out a Talon Flame. It's like, oh, this thing's going to die. Brave Bird, or even like Flare Blitz or something. So it just goes in, it almost kills me. Oh, Focus Sash. Oh, okay, Counter. And then you just utterly wipe out a big part of their team. This is mainly kind of a one-shot, one-for-one kill. So I like it because, I mean, yeah, you lose Smeargle, but at the same time you also make the opponent lose one of their main strong points on the team. Especially if it's the main strong one on their team, like a Garchomp, a Mega Charizard, a Kangaskhan, something like that. So, yeah. I like this set for that. Now here's my second set. This is my girl called O'Keefe after Georgia O'Keefe, the female painter. Um, and she's also jolly. They both have own tempo. Um, their attacks are absolutely dreadful. I mean, it's just Smeargle. But um, this one's a little bit more um, devious. And so I've got Sticky Web. Great for getting that extra speed boost. Um, just helping out, especially with the Destiny Bond. Um, I have Endeavor. Great with the Focus Sash. It's just... Oh, man. Even if Smeargle does die the next turn, if Shadow Sneak can't hit them like if they're a normal type, or if it's something like Talonflame that has priority, or something like Ice Shard, Quick Attack, Vacuum Wave, Extreme Speed, something like that that's faster than Smeargle, um, you could definitely 
lose that. But at the same time, you could also get your next Pokemon just use a first priority move or just something that's faster and then just Oko the I mean or knock out the Pokemon that knocked out Smeargle. And so yeah, and then I've got Destiny Bond, so it's like, oh, oh you're gonna knock me out, okay, I'll just use Destiny Bond to scare you. And then they're like, oh no, I'm not gonna attack you, and then you use Endeavor and then go ahead and whittle them down to one HP. And so, yeah, even if you die, then they're still at 1 HP, and then you might still be fast, and you might get another Destiny Bond, and they might get knocked out anyway. So, I think these Smeargles have a good bit of potential. Like, I usually don't... I don't have the time, really, right now, to use these two in battle. Um, I haven't really tested them out, per se. But I do I do hope to try these guys out sometime, especially the Mirror Coat Encounter one, because I'm excited to see how Rembrandt plays. Um, definitely, I hope unexpected because I haven't really seen anybody use Smeargle except for just setting up statuses and, of course, like the Baton Pass Belly Drum Agility Spore set um, that everybody likes to use. So, and of course, there's other moves that you can run on um, Smeargle like Toxic, um, other moves like that, uh, Will O Wisp, uh, Aromatherapy, um, I guess. A lot of great status moves, got a lot of great coverage moves. Um, just a lot of potential for Smeargle. And one I saw recently on a Verlus video on a Fan Friday, someone used a roleplay Smeargle with No Guard and Sheer Cold. So, Smeargle's got potential, man. I mean, it does. And I just... If you guys have any Smeargle strategies that you guys like to use, leave your comments in the section below. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say because a lot of people have a lot of different Smeargle strategies because Smeargle is so diverse. But also, it's kind of that Pokemon that you have to toy around with, that you have to play with um, a certain way in order to get it to work. And so, yeah, it's kind of hard to work with at times, but I think, especially this set right here, it's just, it's going to be fun to see someone's face, like when my buddies when I'm fighting them, and they're like, oh, huh, Smeargle, you just use Close Combat, Mega Lucario, and I just use Counter and wipe them out. So, I just like the idea of that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully going to get some more strategy videos up, some battle videos up, um, different stuff like that. Still trying to work on some stuff for that 17 Chris Jenkins best of video. Um, I was going to do Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, sadly, um, my buddy Evie Skeptel, his computer won't record full screen on that for some reason. We had the same problem with Slender. And so we can't do that, sadly. My brother played it, and needless to say, um, I got scared just watching him. I screamed, and he had headphones on, and he didn't even get scared. So... Yeah, hopefully, I, when I do my, I'm probably going to do a jump scare compilation of the Crooked Man, Me, Sal, Slendy Tubbies, and that one little bit from Five Nights at Freddy's, of my brother playing. And so, yeah, definitely going to have some stuff on here soon, Pokemon related, Super Smash Bros. related, because hopefully in about a week or two, Sakura is going to be releasing the whole roster, and I hope in Prime is on there. But, okay, I'm getting the ranting. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another battle video, or some other video. Later, guys.